So the video you just watched is a video making rounds and allegedly it is the funeral ceremony of one of the ladies who turned up in the X-rated videos of this Equatorial Guinea guy by name Balthazar Ibang Ngonga. Now, per the reports online, it has been alleged that this lady was full of life. She was healthy. She was happy. She was going about her life normally. But then, when this video of her and this Balthazar Ibang Ngonga surfaced on social media, through the leakage she just couldn't take the shame and she just ended it all she unalived herself and she's just gone like that this is yet to be confirmed but that is the reports out there and if that is the case i think that i saw this coming because if you watch the first video i did on this it's in the playlist. At a point, I touched on the damage that this guy has done to families and how this damage is going to continue in perpetuity because you can't do this with people's wives, daughters, and sisters. Film it and release it and expect that. No, sorry, scratch that. I don't know if he re released it, so I take that back. But he did this and filmed it and some way it has come out. And these things can't happen and you expect that some way, somehow, everything is just cushy and it's a normal day. These are people's lives this guy has toyed with. Someone would say that, oh, they were willing participants, seemingly. And I, I touched on this in my earlier video that, granted, they may even be consenting. It still does not take away responsibility from him and themselves too for recording it that is not to say the lady is a victim but that is just to say that as somebody would say there are certain things you don't do there are certain lines you don't cross because the repercussions are endless and inexhaustive you can't see them coming i'm sure at the time this lady was doing this with this guy if both of them knew this was how it was going to go i'm sure they would have thought twice how long did this last? Maybe 10 or 15 or 20 minutes of pleasure. But this is going to suffer them a whole lot for the rest of their lives. And if the reports are true, then it means that this lady has even shortened her own life as a result of the shame that was coming her way. When the X-rated video between her and this Balthazar Ibang and Gonga came out. So the question is, was it worth it? That is the question, and it's a question to everybody out there, especially when these things are beginning to surface around you. Don't forget your morals and principles. Don't forget your vows. You owe it to your spouse. You owe it to your partner. You owe it to your family to be decent, to be truthful, to have integrity, to stick to high standards of morals and not engage in such stupid things. Someone will say they are adults. Yeah, but it doesn't mean what they did is wise. That is the thing. Because as an adult, if you can't do this in front of your spouse, or your partner, or even your child, how does it make it right just because you are an adult? My heart goes out to her and her family if this is true. May she rest in peace if it's true. But I foresee several things are going to happen out of this expose. I touched on this earlier in my first video that this guy should keep his head on the swivel because with what he has engaged himself in, there's a high tendency some people will want his head. That is what I foresee. Not to talk of the trauma that it leaves on the people who are in the video with him. Some of them definitely would be the women. They will be traumatized and maybe he himself as well. Just that you also see that he was collecting this as a form of catalog. But the question is, what about the ladies? 
Are they also having catalogs of their own? Think these are just nasty adults doing nasty things and portraying to be decent in the eyes of society, whilst probably abusing their power or compromising themselves and their morals and ethics just for some few minutes of pleasure. And as a popular person said, if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That is what is transpiring. This guy would never be the same. In as much as some people are hailing him on social media, making all sorts of jokes as if they are proud of him, when all is said and done, the serious side of the issue is that your integrity and dignity is destroyed. And those people who seem to be hailing him are just joking because, trust you me, if it was the wife or daughter or sister of any of them in that video, they wouldn't be hailing the guy. And I think that that is the corruption in the society these days, where people think that in as much as something bad has happened, just because it didn't happen to them, they can make fun of it, forgetting that the law of karma goes round. So today, if it's happening to somebody and you think it's funny, and making jokes out of it, mocking people's pain, creating jokes, and spitting in the face of their pain, bear in mind that you don't know what tomorrow brings. But you would also count on somebody to preserve the dignity of your family. I believe that as we interface with people on this earth, each of us have a responsibility to ensure that we extend to people the same courtesy, respect, virtue and dignity that we expect them to extend to us and our loved ones. So if you're a married man, you have some authority somewhere Bear this understanding. You don't try to use it to have your way with women or ladies who may be naive because they just started working there or they are working under you and you see that you could probably have them if you wanted. The maturity and discipline and self-respect and respect for their womanhood is in the fact that you choose not to do it even though you probably know that you'd be successful if you tried it. That is how you respect yourself, you respect your spouse, and you respect your vows. And for those of you who are corrupt enough to fall for the flesh and think that, yeah, I'm doing it and my manliness is depending on how many bodies that I have or the body count I have. I'm telling you this. You are setting yourself up for a magnanimous shame and disgrace in the future because nothing hides under the sun eventually it will come out look at the way this expose came the guy was being investigated for something else other than this but look at how it led to all this coming out there's something going on and we need to wake up as a society the fabric of society personally i think is getting destroyed because the question is some of these are married women some are mothers if they are doing this, what are they teaching their children? What do they embody? What do they stand for? This guy is a father of six. If he is doing this, what is he teaching his children? He will just be saying sentences. Don't do this. Don't do that. But he doesn't embody it himself. He has no integrity. He has no decency. He has no virtue. One of them is a pregnant person. Look at the level of desecration and violation this person may have extended to the child that is in her as she engages in this disgusting thing. Let's not hide under English or behind English words and think that certain things are allowed because there is consent. No, there may not be a law for certain things, but that is per law as in law of society, but within the ethics and moral of humankind and good and right, good and wrong. What is wrong is wrong. It does not necessarily need to be against the law. That is what most people don't realize. People are focusing so much on education, they forget that there are natural laws of life as well. So the fact that your country may not see something as against the law, it doesn't mean that it is okay if you do it. This is so shameful and like I said in my first video, I'm so angry for his wife. 
somebody is talking about the fact that the women who were caught in the video with him their spouses or their boyfriends should treat them better so they don't get involved in this and i'm like that is baseless and senseless look if you are married or committed to somebody your commitment is not based on only when times are good it is a commitment that should run forever he said to death do you part so if the relationship is bad work on it cheating is not a remedy for a bad relationship i believe that none of them is doing any of this because they have a bad relationship yes they may say that but that is not an excuse the primary root cause of they getting involved in this is because they are just cheap that is it i don't care if you say consent the fundamental thing is they are cheap because you know who this guy is you know he's married and you allow them to have you like this and he himself is also cheap stooping that low because the first thing i always say to fellow men is the day you stop thinking with your waist and think with your head with regards to your dealings with the ladies and your sexuality that is when you find your true power you can't be manipulated by women and you can't be brought down by your sexual desires look at how high this guy was sitting in his career and his occupation and in his country in the scheme of things and i'm sure per this he's going to fall down very flat it's such a shame but i digress i just wish this lady will have a peaceful rest if it's true that she has ended herself as a result of her x-rated video with Balthazar Ibang Egonga coming out. But for the Christians, if there's a heaven and hell and there's a judgment day, when she gets there, what is she going to say if her God asks her, how come you did this? And on top of that, you unalived yourself. That is a conversation for another day. But hey, Let's bring up our children right. Let's not based on just words. Let our actions also speak. If you're a woman, respect yourself, respect your virtue. If you're a man, respect yourself, respect your virtue. There is decency that needs to be a standard for our interactions, whether it's at work, in life, or wherever. Especially if you are married. And even if you are not married, if you are in a relationship, and even if you are not, there's a level of decency required of you. Subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so. Turn on post notifications and I'll catch you on the next one.